emisión.net Hello again and welcome to Letter from England, broadcasting for AC Press and the Spanish Evangelical Alliance. One of the big debates in Spain at the moment is should the Catholic Church apologize for supporting the dictatorship of General Franco, for taking his side uh, in the revolt uh, which led to the Spanish Civil War of the 1930s, and then tacitly or openly uh, giving support uh, to his dictatorship, uh, which lasted until the uh, general's death in 1975. Leading academic historians and church figures met recently in Barcelona at a conference organized by the San Jordi Human Rights uh, Defense Group to debate whether the Catholic Church should apologize for this support. There was no consensus among the academics. Uh, Guillem Barenes, Socialist Party member and Catholic priest, uh, Francisco Garmendia, politics lecturer at Deusto University, uh, Juan Maria Laboa, church historian, and uh, Hilary Craguer, Benedictine monk and historian, as well as Josep Maria Solé, history lecturer at Autonoma University, uh, were those present. Craguer argued that the Catholic Church should repudiate its previous support of Franco's regime, saying, the Church of 2000 is the same as that of 1936. Its leaders have changed, but not its policy. And the Catholic Church is not free of responsibility for what happened before, during, or, and after the Civil War, nor over its silence during the bloody repression of the dictatorship. But the others present could not agree as to whether this was necessary. Laboa seconded Claguet's proposal, but added the condition that any apology offered by the Catholic authorities should be joined by one from all organizations which participated in or promoted or backed in some way uh, the violent repression uh, of those times. And in this he included political parties and trade unions saying it's cynical that everybody insists that the Catholic Church apologizes while they do not do so. Uh, so I then expressed uh, his regret that reconciliation has become an instrument in the hands of political parties. Uh, he cited such countries as South Africa, uh, Argentina, Chile or Guatemala, uh, countries he says that have faced up to their recent past where everyone has said sorry for their crimes. In Spain, no one has yet done that. Well, the Catholic bishops present at the meeting declined to comment directly on that point. Uh, another of the uh, academics there applauded the fact that such a meeting was taking place, uh, supported by the grassroots of the Catholic Church, uh, but added that Catalonia should also apologize for atrocities caused by its troops in Greece uh, back in the 13th and 14th centuries, especially against the monks of Athos. Uh, Laura retorted to this that such a long memory among Greek Orthodox followers is unhealthy and dangerous. Well, meanwhile, the Catholic Bishop of Vic, uh, Josep Maria, uh, expressed his support for the mass beatification of civil war victims. Well, with such a mixed response to the question of an apology uh, by the Catholic Church, uh, it's interesting this week that uh, there has been a discussion about whether religious plurality is in fact the best way forward for Spain. Clearly, the past uh, and the religious past, and particularly in Spain, the role of the Catholic Church in that past, is a very live issue. Now, the Constitution guarantees ideological and religious, re, excuse me, religious liberty and the freedom to worship in a country where, quote, no religion shall be linked to the state. That's Article 16 of the Spanish Constitution. And yet the Catholic Church has held on so the monopoly inherited from the time of Franco, uh, who of course turned Spain into a religious state, albeit one dominated and led by him. Today, the Ministry of Justice is seeking to correct this imbalance and to ensure that all religious groups enjoy the same privileges. Yet, is this the right policy? Surveys suggest that 79% of the population think of themselves as Catholics, uh, agnostics and atheists make up 16%, and a mere 2% say they are practicing members of another faith. Although there are uh, over 1,200 non-Catholic religious organizations registered with the ministry. However, that figure pales beside the almost 12,500 Catholic groups similarly registered. Recently, the government uh, recognized the Scientology Church, uh, best known perhaps for uh, its, uh, some of its high-flying uh, Hollywood members, 
as an official religion in Spain, despite the fact that the group is seen as a cult in countries like France. Buddhism has been added to the list of religions considered to have historic roots in Spain, joining a select group which previously only included Protestantism, Islam and Judaism, as well as Catholicism. And that despite there only being about 40,000 Buddhists in the whole of Spain. Victorino Mayoral, a socialist MP and uh, director of Ives Trust, a group which is campaigning for state neutrality on religious issues, complains that the government is confirming the two-tier religious system in which the Catholic Church occupies the upper story and every other religious group is on the lower level, which has existed since Franco. And he says our nation is in danger of becoming a pluriconfessional state, i.e. one where rather than removing uh, the Catholic Church uh, from uh, all positions of public uh, power and influence, it's incorporating uh, into a, albeit a lower level of state uh, influence uh, all the other recognized religious groups uh, while leaving the Catholic Church, uh, if not exactly in the same position as before, in a fairly similar one. Now, the law of religious liberty passed in 1980 is deliberately ambiguous and allows the state to sign agreements with, quote, those religious groups that due to their extension, a number of followers have historic roots in Spain. My brother says this is an arbitrary and bureaucratic definition and is the way the Justice Ministry recognises the rights of religious minorities. There are almost 2,000 organisations on the register, more than half of which are Protestant, many more than Muslim ones, of which there are fewer than 500. But the Thieves Trust considers that the government is in fact hauling the other recognised religious groups up towards the level of privilege enjoyed by the Catholic Church, rather than becoming more neutral in its dealings with all religions. And Mayoral believes the solution is to improve the law, rather than settling for a system in which the Catholic Church continues to dominate and other religious groups get a lesser share of the pie. Those who want the government to be bolder in its construction of a lay state want the law to guarantee freedom, and the equality of all regarding people's freedom of conscience, religion, and worship. It's the basic principle argued for by Mayorel and others, which would be enshrined in an improved law of religious liberty. And such a law would be a level playing field for all, and do away with the special privileges currently granted the Catholic Church, particularly in areas such as financing and education. Well, where does this leave evangelicals? Uh, personally, whilst... Uh, acknowledging uh, the uh, role of the Catholic Church uh, during Civil War times and later under Franco, I'm not sure that these uh, historic uh, apologies uh, really do much good and perhaps even perpetuate uh, the memory of unhelpful uh, aspects uh, of uh, religious involvement in state affairs. More personally, perhaps, to evangelicals in Spain today uh, is the fact of the state seeming to want to draw in other religious groups under its influence, uh, whereas evangelical Christians uh, should be more concerned about being salt and light and having their influence upon the state, uh, which is surely more easily done from the position of complete neutrality and independence. And uh, I have some sympathy with my other position, uh, that there is a danger that Spain could become a pluriconfessional state rather than a neutral state, guaranteeing religious and genuine religious freedom for all. Well, thank you for listening uh, to Letter from England, broadcasting at emission.net each week. Goodbye for now. Emission.net.